वेलकम क्लास ऑन आ यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ केंद्र का एकेडमी टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अ टॉपिक इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड विच कम्स इन सेकेंड पेपर ऑफ कॉमर्स इन अ यूनिट बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स इलास्टिस वॉट इज इलास्टिटी ऑफ डिमांड इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड शोज द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ अ डिमांड ड्यू टू चेंज इन अ प्राइस may be the change in a price is small or large but how the demand will respond to the price it is called elasticity of demand elasticity of demand has many types first is price elasticity of demand what is price elasticity elasticity of demand price elasticity of demand is change in a price will reflect to change in a demand in which manner it shown by the price elasticity of demand if the change in a commodity demanded divided by change in a price into 100 we can calculate the price elasticity of demand it has five types which is very important and it comes in a frequent manner in a ugc net paper 2 of commerce first is perfectly elastic demand what is perfectly elastic demand if the change in a price is less or negligible or there is a very small change in a price but demand is changing infinitely so it means there is a perfectly elastic of demand see the first draw picture it shown by the perfectly elastic of demand here is ep equals to infinite it means there is no change in a price but there is a huge change in a demand it is it reflects that if the price is not changing and there is a small change in a price but demand is going high and down it is shown by perfectly elastic demand second one is perfectly inelastic demand which is also known as ep equals to zero what is ep equals to zero if there is a huge change or there is a wide change in a price but if the demand will not reflect in that direction it means there is a perfectly inelastic of demand for example see the picture 2 for example p1 is the uh, pv uh, at the point price 1 demand is not changing at the price 2 demand is not changing it means there is a change in a price but there is no change in a demand so it is shown that ep equals to 0 it means elasticity of price is zero because demand is not changing because of the change in a price which is very important to know when the demand for example if the price is 5 5 then it will become 10 but the demand is same as q1 is same so it is shown in a e equals to 0 then the next one is relative elastic demand what is relative elastic demand when the change in a demand is when the change in a demand is more than change in a price it is called relative elastic of demand here the elastic uh, price elasticity of demand is greater than when which is very important to know when the price elasticity of demand is greater than 1 price elasticity of demand will greater than 1 in the case where the change in a demand is more than change in a price for example there is a change in a change in a demand change in a demand is 40 but there is a change in a price change in a price is 10 so it means 10 upon 40 into 100 4% 40% so it means the there is a change there is a big change in our demand but there is a small change in our price change in our demand is more than the price so it is called relatively elastic demand it is shown in a figure third there here is p uh, on in the case of p1 demand is q1 but in case of slightly change in a p2 demand is changing q2 which is more than to the comparatively to the price clear hai? here is uh, p1 is 
less than d uh, d uh, d demand it means there is a price perfectly uh, relative elastic of demand when the change in a price is less than change in a demand it is known as relatively elastic demand or demand is more than demand is more changing than the price fourth one is relatively inelastic of demand what is inelastic demand it is ep equals to ep is less than 1 it means if the change in a price is more than change in a demand it is known as relatively inelastic demand here is changing in a price is more than and the change in a demand is less than comparatively to the price so it is shown in a figure fourth here we here we can see p1 p2 at the, uh, at the price P1, de uh, demand is Q1. At the price P2, demand is Q2. But change in a price is more than as change in a demand. So it means here is perfectly uh, relatively inelastic demand. Per uh, relatively inelastic demand. EP is less than 1. The 5 category is unit elasticity of demand. Here EP equals to 1. EP equals to 1 shows that the change in a price in a demand, change in a price in a demand is same as change in a price in a price. Sorry, then uh, here is the change in a price is same as change in a demand. Percentage change in a price is same as percentage change in a demand. So it is known as EP equals to 1. It is called unit elastic because change in a price and demand. For example, change in a demand is 40% and change in a price is 40%. So it means it is same as the uh, price is moving in the same direction of a demand. It means there is a unit elasticity unit elastic demand which is known as ep equals to 1 you can see the figure number uh, figure uh, 5 in, in p1 demand is q1 in p2 demand is q2 both have the same change in a price and demand so it is shown that ki, there is a ep equals to 1 it is called unit elasticity of demand why this elastic of price elastic of demand is important here is a uh, we can measure the so many response of the demand in comparison to the price when it is zero when it is more than one when it is less than one when it is infinite and when it is zero it is uh, very important in a practical field how the price will respond to the demand if the changing in a price is more than demand then the demand it means there is a price relatively inelastic demand it is shown by ep is less than one if the change in a price is equal to the change in a demand then it is called unit elastic which means there is a ep equals to one degree of change in a price and degree of change in a demand is same which is very important to know when it is one when it is greater than one when it is less than one then elasticity of demand will show the reflection of a demand on a price or how the price will reflect to the demand. Maybe the change in a price and change in a change in a price and change in a uh, maybe change in a price is either small or more, but how the demand will reflect and how it will respond to the price, it is shown by this all type of demand price elasticity of demand is very important and there are so many questions are asked by the ugc cbsc pattern net and it is a most frequent topic from which the lots of the questions will come from this topic so this is the very important topic regarding the ugc net and if you have any query regarding to this topic you can leave in this comment box and if you have any query regarding to some other topic of commerce or ugc net paper one then you can leave in a comment box 
and if you like the video then please like it share it subscribe it and visit on our channel kedika academy thank you for watching this video thank you class